Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham. Today, I have the honor and pleasure. I'm here with Mr. Bill Ryan of the Transplant Life Foundation. He's here to tell us about this great event that's coming. I want to say after the 4th of July, which is called the 2024 Transplant Games of America. Bill, welcome on the podcast today. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Great, great, great. So tell me about this, this unique um event you all got going is a great cause i would like to say as well well thank you the, the transplant games have actually been around since 1990 they were mm -hmm. uh, they were started uh, back in the in the 90s by a company called novartis who is a pharmaceutical company but the the event was to honor uh people who had uh organ recipients who had organs transplanted and it allows the, the patients to get together and compete in gold, silver, and bronze medal competitions and to gather and talk about common issues and things that that happened with people who had transplants. And I see from the press release that you all got almost 10,000 people yep. um, coming, which is recipients, donor family, living donors, people waiting to transplant. That's very, it's very cool. Yeah, it's kind of like a family reunion of people that are, mm -hmm. that are part of the transplant and donation community. So uh, it's a it's a party, and it's a uh, it's an honor to to see these people. Some of them had their organs for 30, 40, 50 years. Oh wow, that is truly true, true a blessing. So I see on Saturday you all are doing a five k run and, and walk. Yep, there's a 5K race that the public's invited to participate in, uh, starting at 7 a.m. in the morning outside of the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center, and sign up right there to, you know, to come down and run run with people who had a, a reason to show off why they can still run. Oh wow, cool, cool. So, is is the um this is this this is going to be a, is this going to be a city walk? It's a it's it run the race is run in a downtown area, starting okay. the circle by BJCC, and it does a you know three point one mile loop, which is a a five k, so it's right downtown. Okay, so what are some of the other games that the participants are going to be participating in? Well, the heart, I'm sorry, the heart and soul of the games are, are at the BJCC Convention Center, so. Mm -hmm. We call it the TGA Village for Transplant Games of America Village, and uh, people are entitled to come down and play. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, come down and see the athletes play. We do 11 competitions in the BJCC between Saturday and Wednesday of next week, uh, and there there's 21 different sports. It's like basketball, volleyball, you know, table tennis. Uh, we have some a number of events outside of the village, uh, like golf. Swimming is at the Crossplex. Uh, track and field is indoors at the Crossplex. The field events are going to be at uh, UAB Birmingham, um, and so it's a you know there's twenty twenty one sports all total across the city. But the village is the heart and soul of it. We, people can come in. There's exhibits. There's you know we have ma a mascot run. We have uh, a blood drive that in conjunction with the Red Cross, you know, all of our partners, you know, the city, the county, UAB will be there. Uh, and it's a basically a big party house. Oh, wow. And I see that the, the bigger thing about this, too, I want to mention to the viewers, the mission free of charge. Yeah, you can come down. It's a, it costs money to compete, but, you know, not everybody wants to compete. Everybody wants to come down. And there's there's a lot to see in the village. There's going to be entertainment. There's exhibitors giving stuff away, and so uh, yeah, it's free to the public. We want everybody to come down and learn about donation and transplantation. That's our goal: is to make people more comfortable so that they they know how many people's lives are saved every year by donation and transplantation. Well, I'm not trying to do next course. Trying to do a pop quiz, but how many people in Alabama are, are waiting a range of transplant? Oh, you know, you asked me a question I can't answer. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Let, let, let me no, that's okay. I'll tell you that nationally the numbers are around 110,000 people that are waiting for an organ. Uh, roughly 15 to 17 will die every day because there's not an organ available for them. Um, you know, uh, Alabama's like a lot of states. It, there, there's probably, you know, five to 8,000 people in Alabama. I'm just guessing at that number because I don't know for sure. But that's that's kind of a number that sticks in my mind of people in Alabama that are waiting for an organ. And I would say one of the easiest thing I had a, an interview in the past with somebody um, legacy of hope. I, I probably don't know about this. Yeah, I think that's right. the organization. Yeah, organization where basically just put it on your driver's license. That's right. One of the uh, easiest things. Yeah, there. You know, so the federal government controls how organs are collected and distributed. So that's done through a series of organizations. They're called organ procurement organizations. Legacy. Mm -hmm. Legacy of Hope is the organ procurement organization in the state of Alabama, and they're connected to UAB Hospital. Um, so their job is to mo monitor and to collect organs as they become available, and then they they monitor who gets them uh, mm -hmm. based on federal federal standards. Okay, cool. Um, and like I said, I like the other events that's going on during the week. You're going to have like a film series and Moments of reflection and also honoring people as well, yep. the donors. Um, so if they want to go for more information, where do they go to find uh, out about the event? The, the website is uh, transplantgamesofamerica.org. Mm -hmm. And there's a full schedule of events on there, um, you know, beginning on Friday. And then, you know, through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it uh, gives them full details. There's a lot of pictures on there that they can look at and see. But, you know, essentially, you know, 95% of it's free of charge. And we'd love to have more of the public down there. Learn about how they can save lives. Yes. And then also, the kind of I like how you guys got the timing of this event. A lot of people are going to be off on Friday because a lot of people are off on Thursday. Yeah. But it'd be something family-free. <laughs> we love free in these times. So, um I definitely say come check this event out. Bill, thank you for coming on the podcast today. Please check out more interviews on what's happening And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you all again. Have a great 4th of July. Be safe with these fireworks, everybody. And have a great day. Bye-bye. You too, Jarvis. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.